Welcome to a virtual curator's tour featuring work from the SilverEye 2020 Benefit Auction. I'm Kate Kelly, Assistant Curator at SilverEye, and today we're exploring abstraction and collage through several photographs within the auction. Abstraction and collage can disrupt our traditional assumptions about photography as a medium. Through abstracted photography, we may not see clearly identifiable subject matter, and the images may resist straightforward explanation or interpretation. Instead of telling us a story in narrative form, an abstract image can allow us to intuit our own meanings or associations. The use of collage can also fracture our ideas about what a photograph is, sometimes quite literally. In several works within the auction, artists cut apart imagery, severing it from an original source, and then bring these separate parts together as something new. Artist Lauren Semivan uses her studio like a theater, creating abstract worlds through drawing, painting, and sculptural arrangements. She photographs each arrangement using an antique wooden 8x10 view camera, yet her scenes are never built to last. After taking a photograph, she begins to edit and manipulate the arrangement using the endpoint of one picture as the starting point for the next. While parts of her images are discernible as everyday objects, most are not recognizable as anything we know. Lining, featured here, is a swirling composition of fabrics, charcoal drawing, and light. It is a dreamlike world full of motion. John Opera's work, Toilet A, is part of Opera's series of cyanotype on linen works from 2014, which present seemingly banal objects encountered in daily life. The double exposure technique and the subject matter of a toilet seat recalls several early 20th century experimental photographs by artists such as Man Ray and Lee Miller, as well as the modernist studies of Edward Weston. Overlapping and inverting the circular shapes of the toilet seats seems to set the forms loose from reality, placing them against an inky blue sea. Carmen Winnott utilizes collage strategies to examine feminist modes of survival, care, and revolt. This collage, titled The Red Parts, combines found images of women crudely cut, pasted, and dyed with red food coloring in an arresting, beautiful, and unnerving composition. Bringing together different archival images of women in active poses, stretching, flexing, and curving their bodies, brings forth a sense of community and multiplicity. In effect, a chorus of women. The use of food coloring, an ingredient typically constrained to the space of the kitchen, poses further questions about how, when, and where women's voices are heard. Finally, Dion Lee looks at connections between land, race, history, and violence, and looks at how these ideas connect to concepts of outdoor survival. In this work titled Building a Bed, Lee creates silver gelatin prints using fragments of photographs from a wilderness survival manual, draws with graphite directly on the prints before and after she exposes them, and collages them together in the final work. While the hand-drawn element of this work disrupts the idea of the traditional silver gelatin process, the imagery itself also contains contradictions. The images can appear as though they are providing a tool of respite, such as a building or a bed or a warming fire. Yet they can also shift and start to appear menacing, and the bed or shelter can look more like a trap. Also at play is Lee's consideration of our planet's shifting climate and how historical narratives of race and power will play a part in shaping both who has what and who knows how to survive. Lee's work leads us to an understanding of a landscape that can be beautiful and treacherous simultaneously, of a natural world that is anything but neutral.